Hey y'all, it's Michael. So the next short story collection that I'm going to be reading is Meet Me in the Future by Cameron Harley. I don't know nothing about this. The cool beetle board mechanical thingy in the front look really cool. Um, so that's why I decided to randomly check it out. What I'll do is after each and every single short story, um, I'll let you know my thoughts and then at the end, I'll give you my collective overall um, feelings. I might break this up into um, pairs just because there's a a lot in here but yeah let's go the first one is an introduction um by harley i enjoy it when authors are actually speaking to like writing to the reader uh but i think this would have worked better in the end just because then i would have had more context about the stories uh but you know it, it was in the beginning i was like oh okay sure so let's talk about the first short story which is elephants and courses um this was really interesting um I really enjoyed it. So this is about um, Tara and Neve, and they're in the. This is like in the future, um, and I think this is where like these fantasy sci-fi short stories really work because you have a um, like a really weird, crazy idea, quick, short, and to the point. So this is about ne Nev and Neve and Tara, and in the future they're um, body marks, and they can actually like they you can actually fish like dead bodies from like the pier and whatnot and like you when you die um you can actually jump to another body like a, a dead body it's actually really cool it has these like moments of like about um death there's a part in here where it starts to question about um like gender and identity i thought that was really cool it's just like fast i was like okay i like it and i think it starts off the short story collection of bang um i'm not gonna lie it it has me intrigued like the idea all right i finished the next short story called when we fall um this one um it, it, it wasn't my favorite um yeah um this is about a mechanic a being and we essentially follow this being's life um as he's searching for something in particular because something happened with with a ship uh yeah, I, I, I didn't like it. If one thing I didn't also notice that I don't like the way that the sentences are cut up. Um, it has this like short staccato feel to it, but um, for some odd reason when I'm reading it, it doesn't have this flow that I'm like. Maybe it, it might be just because it's a second short story, and usually, um, it might take me a second or two before I finally get a hang of it. But that is something I am noticing. I was like, stopping, like when I read. I don't know. This might be a thing, but when I read, I have this like flow going. Um, and for some odd reason, the first, well, this one and the, the previous one, um, I had to stop. Like it was weird the way like my, the pauses was going on. Um, I read the next short story called The Red Secretary. Um, I didn't like it. Mm. And yeah, I didn't like it. Like it, it's it's not leaving an impression on me at all. <laughs> at all, it's about. Uh, the main character Arkady who basically is a negotiator for like this hostage situation um I'm not really enjoying the writing style at all let's talk about the next short stories the first one is the sinners and the sea um this one was really interesting because it sets up this like really cool world if I were to tell you the premise it would give a lot away especially with these type of stories um the next one was about the next one is called The Women of Our Occupation. This one was interesting and explores a little bit about gender. And then the next one is um, The Fisherman and the Pig. Okay, so this is where, like, it gave me pause. Um, so I guess this is a little bit of a spoiler, but it doesn't say it at all in the back. And I'm not that familiar with um, Harley's works. So I guess it could be a slight spoiler just to let y'all know, but um, these are connected. I think I don't know if that's true or not, but it's I mean it was literally the same character, so I'm thinking these are connected. I'm not gonna lie if I were to say I I'm having a good time reading these. I am not enjoying the writing style at all. Um I don't it's not I'm not easing into it and it feels a little bit um I don't know what it what the right word is, but it feels uh stumbly if that makes any sense i'm just at the point of reading this where i'm just ready to get it over with all right i read the next um short stories the first one's called garda this one was about like a character named abija yeah the next one is called um the play givers this one was actually pretty interesting this is about a um bet and lilas i guess yeah this i guess that's how you pronounce it and it basically involves this um quest as they search for these items i'm not gonna lie i felt like this one was it was it was better in my opinion than 
well, I liked it better than the other ones. Um, but there are parts in here where it made it feel really long. Um, and that goes down to the next one called Tumble Down. This I felt was like really long, but then I counted the pages, y'all. And it's only like, um, 20 pages. <laughs> um, so, y'all, I'm not really liking this. And I really figured out why I don't really like the, these stories. Um, and that's the writing style, as I kept mentioning. Um, and it's like a real hurdle for me. And, and Tumble Down, this is really prevalent. Um, and I realized why I don't really like it. Harley's writing style is, is, if I, per, me, personally feel as though it is telling me instead of showing me, um, which is, my opinion, I don't really enjoy the sentence structures and the sentence, like the variety, um, isn't good. Use of pronouns is so much, like within a paragraph. This is within a paragraph. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so it goes right here. The dogs raced up through snow foothills and into a sparkling forest of jades and black stone. The dogs barely paid any kind of mind to it, but Sarnia gaped. She never had enough such a thing. They raced and raced. She rode them hard, so hard that she lost one of the dogs. And she stared at Spotty the way she had stared at a character's. <laughs> but she, w she would not weep because she was out of tears. And it's just like so much of that type of usage. I really enjoy when um authors like are really descriptive because I love that type of writing. I want you to show me this world because all of these worlds are weird, right? Um, yeah, so I'm not, and I wish there were more of that. Um, the one thing that I do enjoy though is that there are some concepts in here that I think is like really interesting, um, but I'm just not, that, that barrier of the writing style is just, it's not, I'm not liking it, so. All right, so I finished the um, short story collection overall from the in regards to the previous clip, basically I just read the remaining ones um, and then like in bulks and so it's like what two days afterwards so because I just I'm not gonna lie I just wanted to get this over with and get on to the next short story collection um, because majority of the ones I'm um, like the remaining ones um, I really didn't enjoy um, there were some like really interesting ones even like Enyo Enyo I thought was really interesting that one's like about um, Enyo and it's like a ship type of situation um, some uh yeah the the one that i did enjoy um out of all of these i thought i was like oh this one's not that bad it's the corpse archives um and i really love the concept of this the concept of this short story the corpse Ar archives i thought was so cool um it has this situation with anish and it's like um a commentary about like books history um like bodies and like oh, it was so cool i think this is where um harley's like ideas really shine um and i think this one was a little bit better in my opinion um just because it's written in first person and i think this is where um harley i i would i liked it a little bit better um and that's because since it's a first person the groove and like the writing style flowed a little bit better for me um and it made me also like it strongly made me realize how much she writes in that like subject and then an action verb then subject and then an action verb and she, there's a lot of usage of um, pronouns in here and the writing with that constant use, the writing style for me, like with the other short stories, it just never had a flow to it that I really enjoyed reading. Um, and I'm not going to lie, um, I would not recommend this short story collection. And I think it's also, I think I am missing something in the regards that these these short stories um, essentially connect. Harley has written other like world and like other well like s novels um and i think if i were to read her other novels this would be better in that regard yeah i just didn't enjoy this um and i think my the one thing that i did really enjoy though is that the ideas i think the ideas of hurley is so cool like the conception like the ideas that the stories present and the themes that they present like about um gender about body about like um history uh and even like some of the world building I thought was actually pretty cool like um especially the ones with like especially like the like elephants and corpses and like the one involving like the bodies I thought that was like about the jumping of the I think that is really cool um I always enjoy that type of stories um but I think for me it really is the writing style it just is it's that really strong barrier between me getting the flow of the short stories um and just like enjoyment in in the end uh so yeah there's that if you read this short story collection, let me know, or any of the short stories in here, um, let me know. Or if you have any suggestions, maybe, to like enjoy it more in that regard. But yeah, there's that.
So until then, I'll see you guys till next time. Bye. All right, the next short story collection that I will be reading is Fly Already by Edgar Caret. I'll see you then.